16 very old human creations that still surprise us today. Number 11, a well-preserved shoe worn by a Roman 2,000 years ago. In contemporary times, Italy is undoubtedly considered one of the biggest fashion capitals in the world. But did you know that the Italians have been making good quality footwear since ancient times? Don't let the appearance of the shoe deceive you. It was made in the first centuries of our era. The stylish shoe in this picture was found in a well in Salzburg, Germany. The fact that it was found in Germany proves how fashion and the craft of making shoes was spread in the empire. It's a woman's shoe as they were decorated with embroidery, motifs, and often with lace. That not only showed the craftsmanship of the maker, but also the status and wealth of the wearer. Number 12. The cord sealing King Tut's shrine was broken 3,245 years after it was tied. The tomb of the ancient Egyptian pharaoh Tutankhamun, also known as King Tut, was discovered in 1922. This discovery received worldwide press as the tomb was nearly intact and it was the first mummy to be discovered. The chamber was full of treasures, jewelry, statues, a chariot, weapons, clothing. It all was sitting there untouched for more than 3,000 years. You know what was also untouched? The seal to the fifth shrine of the sarcophagus. The simple cord was protecting the resting place of King Tut until it was broken in the past century. Number 13. A 17th century book survived to tell a tale of how it became a weapon. Did you know the Latin phrase scientia potentia est, which means knowledge is power? Well, knowledge can be a weapon too. There's such a thing as a prayer book pistol that was custom made for Francesco Morosini, the Duke of Venice, who lived from 1619 to 1694. So the fake prayer book was made sometime in the 17th century. The mechanism was designed so that the gun was concealed and could only fire when the book was closed. It was most probably used for personal protection. Number 14. The psychedelic effects caused by mushrooms depicted in a 9,000-year-old cave drawing. The National Park in the Sahara Desert, Tassili Na'ajar, is an important site because it hides some of the most important prehistoric art in its caves. The various carvings and engravings could have been done from between 9,000 years ago and 4,000 years ago. Well, some of the large animal carvings and engravings may date back to more than 12,000 years or more. One particular cave painting from around 9,000 years ago caused curious interpretations. This drawing depicts a shaman with a human body and a head of a bee. The shaman holds a bunch of mushrooms in their hand and sprouting from their body. That leads the scientists to believe that the painting represents a psychedelic experience caused by the mushrooms. Other ancient history enthusiasts theorize that this is proof of our ancestors' communication with aliens. What do you make of this cave painting? Number 15. An old knife from the 16th century served not only as a knife, but also as a pistol and a calendar. It's very useful and convenient to have a pencil with an eraser attached to it, but not everything is more useful if it has more than one purpose. In the 16th century, gun makers thought it'd be a great idea to combine a pistol with a sword, a knife, an ax, or even a crossbow, so that the owner of the gun would be able to still protect oneself if the gun misfired. Usually, these combined weapons were clumsy and impractical. The weapon in the picture is a hunting knife combined with a wheel-lock pistol. It was made by a German etcher, Ambrosius Gemlich, from two different pieces. The blade, dated around 1528 to 1529, etched with a calendar for the years 1529 to 1534, and the barrel dated 1540 or 1546. Number 16. A mortar made at the end of the 18th century in the shape of a tiger. It's known that cows are considered sacred by Hindus, who make up about 80% of Indians. But it's surprising that the national animal of India is a tiger. Tigers are courageous and powerful. Furthermore, some would consider them one of the most dangerous animals on the planet. So making a tiger-shaped weapon makes sense. This mortar was cast in India around 1770 to 1799. It could have possibly been made for Tipu Sultan, who was known as the Tiger of Mysore, and he lived from 1753 to 1799. It wasn't finished, however, and in its current state, it's not functional. 
but the intent was for the bombs to fly through the tiger's jaws, menacing even more the enemy. 